Hey everyone, it's Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the last 24-hour period and why we've seen over a 10% increase in the last 24-hour period, because there's been a lot of hope and a lot of different great things going on for the Cardano community and the Cardano ecosystem. We're going to jump through all of that today and start off with the last week being a 20% increase in the last month being about a 7.45% increase. So we can see that the volatility has been all over the place, right? We can see that $1.30 back in December 16th up to about a dollar 59 dollar 60 in the December 27th range drops back down to a dollar 07 January 10th and now we're right back up to a dollar 41 with today's huge push of 10 to 11 percent in Cardano so what has been going on recently what is the utility that is continuing to grow and exactly why are we seeing Cardano rise so quickly well, I want to jump into price predictions for the end of the year and the end of the bull market. But before we do so, there's a lot that we need to cover. The first thing being more than 70 new smart contracts landed on Cardano in the last 30 days. That's a very, very bullish thing to see. More and more smart contracts ever since that's, uh, I believe, if we actually jump back. I'm going to kind of show you guys this. You know, when smart contracts were being announced and talked about even more and more, I think it was September 10th that they were actually being released. And September 1st, we saw our all-time high last year, $3.10. So you can see that they were very, very hyped up about smart contracts releasing on Cardano. And for good reason, because now we are seeing the utility come into play. 70 new smart contracts on Cardano in the last 30 days. I'm not going to jump through all of them and uh, really talk about you know, each and every 70 project or each and every one of the 70 projects, because there's so much to really kind of jump into talk about in today's video. So the next really tweet is a big one. The new blog by actually input output HK with core smart contract capability now deployed. The next phase for Cardano focuses on performance optimization and scaling. Here's how we plan to steadily increase Cardano's capacity throughout and really during 2022. And it starts right here. So 11 ways Cardano will scale in 2022. Block size increase, pipelining, input endorser, memory, CPU, parameters for Plutus, Plutus script enhancements. They have node enhancements, on-disk storage, sidechains, Hydra, off-chain computing, and Mithril. We've talked about a lot of these things in the past. I'm not going to talk specifically into each and every one of these 11. We'd be here for quite some time. Uh, but I want to say that these 11 things are definitely going to continue to make Cardano more valuable, definitely going to continue to actually push more and more people over to the Cardano ecosystem as they realize what is actually taking place and how Cardano will scale in 2022. So I want to jump into Benjamin Cohen actually talked about this. This is not a big tweet by him or anything, but ADA has actually flipped Sol. So if we actually go to the prices here on Coinbase, a very easy place to actually see the market caps, it does look like Solana actually passed Cardano back up, but $47 billion on Cardano, $48 billion on Solana. So this is a very, very close race right here. Cardano was at the number five spot yet again, uh, but I do think it will be a close race and continue to be a close race between these two very, very solid coin choices if you are in either one i do believe you're in the right coins i want to jump though into the next one so we talked about this tweet crypto man ran if you guys watch him on youtube he says leaders in total development activity in 2021 so we actually posted this graph and you can see the top the top is cardano so that's a big thing to really note is they are a leader in total development activity in 2021 kasama and polka dot not too far behind though and then we have ethereum and so on and so forth but you can see there's more than just a couple reasons why Cardano is doing well today, and there's going to continue to be more than just a couple reasons. One big thing that happened recently, though, is Vitalik Buterin asked their Twitter community or Twitter followers which crypto they prefer to overtake Ethereum. Cardano and Tron are favorites, Cardano being the biggest by far. So 42% saying ADA. And then we also saw Tron being 51% on the second pool. So great to see ada as a favorite and uh so the ethereum co-founder vitalik buterin set up a pair of polls on twitter asking his followers if 80 percent of all transactions and savings in the year 2035 are in one currency and it is not either which currency would they prefer it to be he asked them to choose from the number of cryptocurrencies including bitcoin cardano solana tron and binance coin so it's great to see, like I said, how Cardano turned out to be one of the best. 42%, you can see the pool here. And then Tron on the second pool was 51.3%. 
So Cardano is a better bet than Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. Just another great article talking more about Cardano and where we could be headed here in the next couple of weeks and months ahead with the bullish sentiment around Cardano. So if we actually take a look at the milestones and new projects, they talk about the Hydra upgrade being one of the biggest things coming. An additional upcoming catalyst for Cardano is the Hydra upgrade that is expected to take place later this year and will dramatically improve the really processing time for transactions on the ADA and USD blockchain. The faster speeds will make Cardano even more useful when it comes to decentralized finance, as well as smart contracts. So there's a lot of people, like I said, betting on Cardano and the future of Cardano. So if you want to stay up to date with cryptocurrency, by the way, and make sure to like kind of stay involved with Cardano as well as Ethereum, as well as, you know, Bitcoin, as well as so many other great altcoins that are, you know, Stellar Lumens, Polkadot, Chainlink. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. And if you haven't already, also follow me on Twitter. If we go over to my Twitter profile, it's actually going to be Crypto Profit YT on Twitter. So you can see here Crypto Profit YT, and you'll just have to follow me on Twitter and enter this great. Let's see here. Let's see where well, there it is. Enter this great giveaway. So still trying to give that chain link away. If we hit $40 link by the end of January, I will give 100 link away. All you have to do is retweet and follow to be entered. So there's a great option for you guys to get involved and get and really be a part, I guess, of that 100 link giveaway. So good luck on that. I want to jump back over, though, because we have one more thing to talk about. So the metaverse arrives on the Cardano blockchain. We're continuing to see more and more jumping on board with Cardano, not just, you know, utility features that uh you know are continuing to push through we're also seeing the metaverse and that's exactly what we want to see so hot on the heels of the projects like decentral uh decentraland actually i was gonna say decentralized but not decentralized it's actually going to be decentraland sandbox games on ethereum the metaverse comes to the cardano blockchain in the form of pavio.io so p-a-v-i-a.io and uh, you can kind of see pavio the little logo or map here that you can see just continuing to see some great projects jump on board with cardano i'm not going to jump too much into this but i just want to continue to show you guys that we are seeing a lot of different utility a lot of different use cases coming for the really cardano ecosystem uh, but let's go into the last day so a 10 percent increase in the last day if you're staking cardano at three to five percent um you know most of you are and that's great you're continuing to find some decent income over time depending on how much cardano you are staking but either way over the time period of this year i think we are going to continue to see cardano increase i want to give you guys my price prediction for the end of the year if we continue on the end of the year is going to be a nice movement i think we are going to see not just the end of the year but throughout this 2022 year we're actually going to see a nice movement altogether and seeing cardano push closer and closer to anywhere from a five to seven dollar price point i think that's going to be a realistic price point from here as a dollar forty we would be seeing about a four x potentially and i think we're going to continue to see even possible uh movement even higher than that by the end of the bull market depending on when that bull market does end a lot of investors continuing to look for coins that make a lot of sense to them cardano makes a lot of sense to me and i think i am a fairly smart investor so we'll continue to see if uh, you know other investors are jumping in, whether retail or institutional investors, we'll continue to keep you guys up to date on the channel. So thank you again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.